You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. A new group is boosting Baltimore's coffee community. The, ba the Baltimore Coffee Collective will start by hosting latte art throwdowns every month. The first competition is on Friday. We have so many incredible producers and cafes in the city, just like many other cities, but we just don't have this community. Nobody's really talking to each other, and so, you know, we could be doing so much better if we're listening to each other and growing off of each other, and I think that's what we're mainly hoping to do. 100 people are expected for the first throwdown at Oneto Coffee, Coffee Roasters in Canton, with proceeds going to nearby Hampstead Hill Academy. The collective is also planning educational events for baristas, meetups, and other ways to unite the community. The new nonprofit Charm City Athletics is giving families in our area a fun, safe, and inclusive sports league to join. This summer, they're hosting flag football for kids ages 5 to 13. Games will be held at Digital Harbor High School every Sunday beginning July 9th. The deadline to register is June 25th, and we have more information on our website. Good morning, Maryland. Not a bad day to lay out by the pool. Just make sure to apply that SPF 30 sunscreen because our UV index once again is going to be at a level eight despite that haze up in the sky from the wildfire smoke. The UV rays are still going to be very strong. Temperatures will be making it up near average upper 70s close to that 80 degree mark with decrease in clouds throughout the day. Warm with hazy sunshine for your Thursday with the high temperature of 85 degrees nearing 90 on Friday, possibly our first 90 degree day of the year before temperatures take a tumble this weekend. Back to you. All right, Stevie, thanks. And stay with WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day. And for your news and weather while you're on the go, you can download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.